Sergei Chemizov, the CEO of Rostec, announced in November 2024 that the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, modernized the TU-95 MSM strategic bomber, enabling it to employ the most advanced aviation weaponry, thereby significantly increasing its combat efficacy. He also noted that they are implementing additional enhancements based on the operational experience they gained during the special military operation. The TU-95 MS strategic bomber's first flight took place 45 years ago. It continues to be the fastest turboprop aircraft in the world and is the sole mass-produced turboprop bomber. These bombers, which are referred to as the Bear in the West, are the foundation of Russia's strategic aviation fleet. It is one of the most recognizable and renowned military aircraft in the world. It continues to hold the distinction of being the fastest propeller-driven aircraft on the planet, demonstrating exceptional performance in both speed and range. A crew once established a world record for flight range by flying for 30,000 kilometers with in-flight refueling. Sergei Chemizov said, Strategic bombers like the Tu-95MS routinely patrol airspace along our national borders and carry out missions as part of special operations. Despite its long service history, the capability and relevance of this formidable weapon remain undisputed. Thanks to modernization at Rostec's United Aircraft Corporation facilities, the latest TU-95 MSM version boasts enhanced combat effectiveness and is equipped to deploy cutting-edge aviation weaponry, including ultra-long-range cruise missiles. The bombers are also fitted with state-of-the-art navigation and communication systems. The improvements continue to incorporate operational insights from the special military operations. The modernization will extend the plane's service life, improve the aircraft's takeoff and landing characteristics, and significantly increase navigation accuracy and reliability. During an inspection of the exhibition of the latest aviation equipment at the Kubinka Airfield before the opening of the International Military Technical Forum, Army 2020, the General Director of the United Aircraft Corporation, Yuri Slyusar, informed the then Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, General of the Army Sergei Shoigu, about the beginning of flight tests for the first experimental, deeply modernized strategic missile carrier, the Tu-95, Tupolev, and PJC Tame, GM Bariv is working together to develop the MSM version. The first flight of the MSM after painting took place on August 22, 2020, from the Bariv Aircraft Company airfield in Taganrog. The flight, which lasted two hours and 33 minutes and took place in normal mode at an altitude of 9,000 meters, was free of any issues with the systems and equipment. A comprehensive modernization initiative has outfitted the 295 MSM with new systems, including weapon control, aircraft control, flight and navigation equipment, an onboard communication system, a radar station, and objective monitoring systems. These enhancements will significantly enhance the aviation complex's efficiency during its intended use. Information from Western sources says that the MSM will be completely updated. The Obzor MS radar will be replaced with the new Novella NV1.021 radar. The Meteor NM2 onboard defense system will be improved. The SOI-21 information display system will be put in, and the NK-12 MPM turboprop engines and AV-60T propellers will be used. The Moscow Institute of Electromechanics and Automation, MIA, was reportedly developing a new astro-navigation system, ANS-2009. Navigation Computing System NVS021M and Integrated Control System KSU21 for the MSM. The 295MS is an indispensable asset for long range aviation due to its numerous trump cards. Compared to the jet powered TU160, the TU95MS is more economical because it uses less fuel and relies less on airfield infrastructure. Furthermore, the plane's turboprop engines produce less heat than turbojet engines which reduces the aircraft's detectability by foreign satellites. The plane's crew consists of seven members, four NK-12 MP turboprop engines, each generating 15,000 horsepower, propel the Tu-95MS. Depending on the payload, the flight range ranges from 6,500 to 10,500 kilometers. Two dual-barrel GSH-23 cannons and 2,500-kilometer range KH-15 missiles enhance its strike capability. The first version of the Tu-95 was created during Stalin's tenure in the 1950s. However, 
the United States had already acquired the Convair B-36 Peacemaker strategic bomber at that time, which was capable of crossing the Soviet Union's borders. And the Soviet Union possessed no means of countering the Americans. At present, the Russian military maintains upgraded variants of the Tu-95MS and MSM aircraft in its inventory. They continue to serve as the primary strategic missile carriers of the Russian Aerospace Forces. The MSM is capable of conducting longer missions with a greater amount of weaponry due to its substantially increased range and payload capacity in comparison to the MS. The MSM can now carry more advanced KH-101 and KHON-02 cruise missiles, exceeding the capabilities of the MS version's KH-55 missiles. In terms of payload capacity and range, the MSM strategic bomber is competitive with other bombers due to its remarkable specifications. One of the longest range bombers presently in service is the MSM, which boasts a maximum operational range of 15,000 kilometers. This enables it to execute strategic missions without the necessity of mid-air refueling. The MSM is capable of carrying a substantial quantity of weapons with a payload capacity of approximately 20,000 kilograms. It is capable of deploying a maximum of 8 KH-101 and KHON-02 cruise missiles, which are effective for both conventional and nuclear strikes. Although the MSM's range is slightly superior to that of the B-52 Stratofortress and considerably superior to the Tu-160 Blackjack and B-1B Lancer, its payload capacity is inferior to that of the B-52 and Tu-160. However, its ability to deploy sophisticated long-range missiles further enhances its strategic effectiveness. Russia expects the MS and MSM to maintain their significant role in its strategic bomber fleet until the 2030s. However, the anticipated addition of 50 Tu-160Ms will gradually diminish their significance. The enhanced stealth of the Tu-95 MS missile carriers sets them apart from the satellites of the new generation SBIRs, an American two-component integrated space early warning system. These satellites are capable of monitoring the exhaust emissions of large strategic bombers with jet engines. Now, do you think the 295 is a non-stealthy design and can be easily detected by ground radars and hence of no value for strategic strikes? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.